Good morning, everyone. So today we will study computer, and the name of the topic is computer network. This is the first part of the chapter that we will study today. Okay. What are the contents that we are going to study today? Let us see. The contents that we will study today is computer network. We will study about the com computer network. What it is? Okay. What are the different network of computers? Then types of network. What are the different types of network? Okay. Then network architecture. What do you mean by network architecture? How these computer networks are connected, and what do you mean by the network architecture? How is this network designed? Okay. So this will be the first part. In the next part, we will move further with the next topics of related with this chapter. Okay. So students, now let us begin with computer network or networking. In the bracket that I have written ing, it is related with the computer networking. Okay. Together, I have mentioned it together. You can look into your books and you can continue with this. explanation okay i will explain all the things that is written in the slide is related with your book only you can open your book and you can go through the explanation looking into your books okay so let us start with computer networking first what is computer networking what do you mean by computer networking what it is written computer networking is the practice of linking two or more computing devices with each other to share data Now, what is computer networking? It is a practice where two or more computing devices we can connect two or more computers in order to communicate with each other or to share data. Okay, we can commute in order to communicate with each other and to share the data from one computer to another. The practice is known as computer networking. This is the practice of sharing. data or communication or communicating with each other where two or more computers are connected together that is called as computer networking understood now what is computer network it consists of two or more computing devices may it be computers or it can be servers peripheral devices like the printer scanner and all those are known as the peripheral devices okay that are linked together in order to communicate exchange document file and share resources share resources means you can share information that is computer network the network means what a chain yes or no to build up a chain in order to share your data or in order to share your resources information to communicate with each other where two or more computers are interconnected that is computer network okay then the internet is the prime example of computer network which connects large number of people together networks are commonly categorized based on their characteristics now internet internet is the prime example of computer network yes or no through internet many resources like many information are shared from one computer to another through internet we can communicate with each other yes or no through mobile phones through email these these uses internet yes or no the world wide server through which we can communicate with each other okay so internet is considered to be the prime example of computer network which connects large number of people it connects large number of people yes then computer are commonly categorized these computers sorry these computer networks are basically categorized depending upon the characteristic what characteristic a network has there are different types of networks okay and each network has got its different characteristics and based on these characteristics all the network are characterized are categorized differently categorized means they are part they are divided into different networks 
Understood? Then see, each of the individual computer in a network is called as node. Each of the individual computer in a network. Suppose there is a specific one network through which many computers are connected. One network and many computers are connected. Each computer which is connected to a particular network, those computers are known as nodes. Okay. A particular computer which is connected to a particular network that are called as nodes. Understood? Then the computers in a network can be connected using cables, telephone wires, radio waves or infrared rays. We can connect through network by how? By using cables. Yes or no? The cable wire we can connect through the network. Then by using telephone wires also. Yes or no? Then radio waves through signals we can connect. And infrared rays. These are some. These are some connections through which we can connect to a network. Understood? What is a computer network? Networking. Computer networking means it is a practice of connecting or linking two or more computers through which we can share data with each other. And computer network means where two or more computers are connected to each other to share data or to communicate with each other or to share resources, to share information. And internet is the prime example of computer network which connects a large number of people throughout the world. Okay, and each computer and each individual computer in a network which is connected to a network, it is called as node. What it is called? It is called as node. And these computer network can be connected using the telephone wires or the cables or the infrared rays. Okay, or the radio wave through the signals. Understood? And students, there are different types of there, there are different types of advantages of using network. There are different advantages of networking. Okay, and what are the different advantages of network networking? Those are easy communication, then rapid file sharing cost efficient than resource sharing and network security. These are some advantages of networking. Okay. Now, what is, what is the advantages of easy communication? See, computer networking allows communication between people who are sitting far away from us. Yes or no? We can communicate with each other who are also, who, who are sitting far away from us. Right now I am sitting here. If, if I want to talk to someone who is sitting far away from me in different state or different country, I can communicate with him using the computer network technology. Yes or no? I can talk to him using phone or I can communicate with him using emails. Yes or no? There are different networking technology nowadays through which we can communicate with each other even though if they are sitting or they are living far away from us. So, this, uh, this makes the communication easier. The networking makes the communication easier even between the people who are sitting far from each other. They can communicate via emails, instant messaging or instant telephony we can call them we can message them we can send emails yes or no we can video call video chat them so this this is how this is the advantage of easy communication regard through network okay then rapid file sharing rapid file sharing is all this networking also makes the sharing of documents from one place to another or from from one particular person to another we can share file rapidly and easily see it is written networking can make file sharing very fast which saves a lot of time before we did not have any communication network yes or no in the past days we had only letters the post the post letters yes or no which used to take 
days and days to be delivered from one place to another. But now, by using this computer network, we can send any kind of information or data or we can receive any kind of information of data within a fraction of time. And it also saves our time. Yes or no? Then it is cost efficient. What do you mean by cost efficient? With computer network, various software products can be installed on a server and can be used with various other computers. The various software products. For communication, there are various software. Yes or no? Once it is installed in a computer, you can also use it with different computers. You don't have to keep on buying it again and again. So it reduces the cost. Okay, it reduces the cost of a network. That is cost efficient. Then resource sharing. What is resource sharing? It offers sharing of hardware. What are hardware you know? The components of a computer which we can see and touch. Like the printer, scanner. Yes or no? These are the computing hardware. Okay. It offers sharing of hardware. For example, a printer or scanner can be shared among computers or a network without installing individual printer or scanner for each of the computer on the network. This drastically reduces the cost of purchasing the hardware. Suppose in an office, okay, there are two, three computers and there is only one printer. You can, sh you can use that printer if that printer is connected to each of the computer. Okay, through the network, we can connect that particular printer or scanner to all the computers, which reduces the cost of the hardware. This printer and scanner are the hardware. Yes or no? So, we can reduce the cost instead of buying each, each particular scanner or printer for every computer. We can use only one of it by using this networking system. So, all the computers are connected to that particular printer or scanner through which we can use it whenever we need. Okay, so this reduces the cost of buying hardware. This is the resource sharing. Okay, now network security. If the network is large, okay, if the computer network is large, network users have access only certain files and applications which provide network security. If the network, if the network of the computer is very large, you also have to be secure about sharing your information or files. Yes or no? So it also provides us security. Okay. It, it protects us from the threats so that our files or our documents do not get misplaced. It also provide us with the network security. So these are some advantages of networking. First one is easy communication through which we can communicate with, e with each other even though if we are sitting far away from each other. Then rapid file sharing. We can share our files and documents rapidly. Okay, that means without wastage of time. Cost efficient. That means you don't have, it reduces the cost. Okay. Like various software can be installed and can be used in each of the computers if it is connected to a particular network. Resource sharing, that means it reduces the cost of the hardware so that you don't have to buy each hardware for every personal computer. Then network security, if the network is large, it will also provide you, it will, al it, it will also provide you security so that your documents are safe, your files, your information, your data are Safe. Understood? And now students, what are the disadvantages of networking? First, we had advantages, yes? Along with advantages, there are some disadvantages also. And now what are the disadvantages of this networking? See, it is expensive to install. Firstly, when you will install, it will cost you a lot of money. Okay, if you install any kind of hardware or if you buy any kind of uh, software or hardware, it is expensive. Understood? Firstly, purchasing various network components, cables and software can be easy, can be really expensive. 
firstly to connect to a network or to buy some cables or to connect with some software or something firstly you have to cost a lot of money in it later on only it will be cost efficient for you but if you are installing it for the first time it will cost you money so this is the first disadvantage of networking then loss of resource the breakdown of whole network due to server problem may lead to loss of crucial information if there is a breakdown of network okay if there is no proper network then all the information that is there in your system it might break down or it might get lost the crucial information the important information that is saved in your pcs if the network is lost the information will also be lost then security threat security threat means large network are always prone to hackers which may lead to theft of valuable data of organization though they have a large network of computer system but since they have a large network of system along with that they also have some hackers which tries to hack the inform the important information from the computer okay these are the threats the security threats the hackers which which hack or steal the important information from the system okay then administration administration means managing this huge or large number of network you need particular person who are very well educated and which have well knowledge about the networking system so that he can manage the networks of the computer properly the 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 pieces which are connected to a network to manage it you need people who are who have good knowledge about the networking system without knowledge and without knowing what without knowing about the system you cannot work okay then network size the larger the net, the computer network the more it becomes difficult to manage if the network size is large if the network size increases it becomes more difficult to manage that for that you need more people and those people should be well qualified and web and they should have a sufficient knowledge to work with it okay so these are the disadvantages of networking expensive to install first time if you'll install the software or hardware to connect to a network the cables it will cost you a lot of money then loss of resource if the network is lost the important information the crucial information will be lost security threat most of the hackers will try to hack or steal your important information administration you need you need safe you need proper training and networking manager so that to manage the computer network and network size if the networking size is more you'll need more people to manage those network understood so these are the disadvantages of networking so now students different types of network there are different types of network okay to share information now see there are several types of network depending upon the number of computers area of coverage and data transfer speed what does it mean several types of network are there depending upon the number of computers how many computers are connected to each other depending on that then area of coverage from a particular area to a particular area a distance is needed to coverage that network to cover that network it needs a specific distance area for the network coverage okay then data transfer speed what is the speed of the data transfer to that particular area where the network is being transferred understood so depending on these there are different types of network lan wan and man there are three types of network lan local area network then man metropolitan area network and wan wide area network there are three types of network lan wan and man 
Understood? Now, what is local area network? What do you mean by local area network? A local area network is a group of computer within the same organization or building. In a specific place it is. The network does not exceed out from this from a particular place. That means the network will only cover till where the area is fixed. Okay. Till where the area is fixed to get the network coverage. That means within the same organization or a building. Suppose there is a building. Only till that building the network coverage will take the net the computer will get the network coverage. That is local area network where the group of computers are connected within the same organization or a building. Understood? Then data transmission speed in this type of network is usually slow. And the speed of the data that is transferred from one computer to another computer, the speed is slow. That means the speed is not fast. These networks are useful in offices to communicate, connect and share files and resources. And where are these type of networks used? These are used specially in the offices to communicate with each other, to connect, to share files and resources. Okay, to share information or to share the files which they are working in, to communicate with each other. These type of networks are used within a specific particular organization or a building. Understood what is LAN? This type of network you are used only to a particular place or area. It do not exceed or extends up to a large number of area. Understood? See students, this is the picture diagram of local area network. You can see there is one server. Server means who is serving you the network, who is providing you the network. Okay. And it can be served within a specific organization or a building. See, one PC, two PC, three PC. A specific number of PCs or the computing devices are connected with each other through which they can share their information, data or they can communicate with each other. Can you understand looking at the picture? This is the local area network. Understood? Now students, metropolitan area network. MAN. The full form of MAN is metropolitan area network. Now what kind, what type of network it is? This network covers a large geographical area than LAN. The network coverage of this network is more than that of LAN, local area network. It spans a city or different parts of the city. That means this type of network coverage can be transferred within a city or a part of a city or different part of a city. Understood? There is a particular network which provides the network to all the computing devices in a city or up to a different part of it of the city. That means the network can be transferred to a larger, large, large place or large geographical area. Understood? Then the data transfer speed is high in this type of network and the speed of data transfer is also high in this type of network. MAN can be considered as an office or organization having its various branch in different parts of the city. Okay. MAN can be considered as an office organization. It can be considered as an organization which have its branches to different parts of the cities also. Okay. In a particular city, if, if it has got its main branch in, the, in one city, it can transfer its data to different parts to different parts of the cities which they have the branch related with it. Okay, they can transfer the data from one main organization to the different parts or different branch which are which they are connected with. The different parts, the different branches 
if they are connected to the main branch they can transfer their information or they can exchange their data or communicate with each other to different parts of the cities also if they are interconnected with each other to a main branch okay now see students this is the pictorial diagram of metropolitan area network see there is a main there is a main organization which is providing the network it can be provided to the office building also all the systems which are being worked which are being used to share information it can get the network through a particular organization okay in the office buildings in the residential areas in the university or campus many computers are connected with each other yes or no so this type of network can span to a large area a particular city or a part of a city a different parts of the city it can span its network to a large area or large geographical area understood you can see the picture and you can make out in land it shares its network only to a specific area okay then this metropolitan area network it can share its information or data to a different parts of the city or to a particular city like office buildings residential areas university campus they can get the network understood then the next one is when w a n that is wide area network now what is wide area network this network connects various lands over a large geographical area that is cities states and countries the network may be several hundred kilometers away from each other these areas can connect one server to another which are situated in different cities also in different states also in different countries also this wide area network can be considered as the global network which can share which can share its network to different cities also different states also and different countries also okay when are generally connected through the leased lines or telephone system and how are these connected these are connected to through the leased lines or telephonic system through the infrared rays or in infrared rays or waves radio waves which get the frequency to connect to each other okay then the data transfer speed depends on the equipment used by the internet the prominent specific equipment which you are using the data transfer speed depends on that what kind of equipment or what kind of system you are using it depends on that understood and this type of network are spread it can spread its network within the city also state also and country also that is why it is called as wide area network understood see students this is when it can share its information with lan also with man also within a country or outside the country outside the state or different city this is wide area network it is globally connected with each other understood there is a there is a global connection between these network within a city state or different country you can see the picture and you can make out how the network is connected with the different parts of the country or state and with different equipment and the data transfer speed depends on the equipment which you are using okay now what is network architecture to this network are built in such a way that this network can be transferred from one place to another yes or no it it should have a proper design what is the architecture what do you mean by architecture what does this architect do it makes design 
yes or no usually this architecture give a design of the building or a houses yes or no which are supposed to be built in the same way there are some network architectures which give the design of the networking system how this network will be transferred from one system to another or from one place to another it needs a design to be shared okay network architecture is the design of communication network what is network architecture it is a design of communication network how can you how can you communication how can you communicate with each other okay it refers to the structural structure of a computer network which includes hardware software protocols for communication connectivity and mode of transmission that can be wired or wireless it refers to the structure of compute computer what what is the structure of computer through which the network can be shared then for communication then what are the different hard, uh, hardware and software that is needed to share the information through these networks okay then connectivity mode what kind of connection do it need what kind of connection does it need to share the network from one computer system to different computer system whether it can be wireless or it can be wired does it need a cable to be connected or it can use the infrared rays or the radio waves to be connected now we are using mobile phones yes or no do we have wire attached to our mobile phones no but still we can connect we can communicate from one state to different state and how is it being used communication by the radio waves by the signals that we are getting through the network there are different types of networks or not airtel airtel jio different types of network they are they are designed in such a way that they connect one mobile phones to different mobile phones that is a telephonic way of communication yes or no this is just an example i am giving you okay now there are two main types of computer network how many types of computer network are there two those are client server network and peer to peer network there are two types of network that is client server network and peer to peer network p w e r peer to peer network understood and now students what is client server network what kind of network it is client server network client client means what a particular person who is receiving the information server means who is serving who is giving you serving means what serving means someone who is giving you client means someone who is taking then what do you mean by this word client server network it is a mutual giving and taking process sharing of information it is a computer network with one powerful that means main computer called server to which various workstation called client are connected just now i told you there is one server who is giving who is providing or supplying the information for the network to different computing system different workstations to different workstations and in workstations what do we use the different computing devices through which we can connect to a network or a server and those workstations are called as client because they are receiving from the server and the server is providing or giving them the network okay it is a computer network with one powerful that is main computer called server to which various workstations called client are connected understood then the server is one which holds the files data and other resources the clients request the server to access the data what is server server is the one who holds the files which have the information about the files or the data or different resources and what is client it asks the server to work on it access means to work on that data understood then the server computer is always on and the one which used to serve which used to give you or provide you those server computers are always on if the server computer is turned on its resource will not be 
starts, its resource will not be available for use. If the server network is off, the client network cannot work without the server network because it will not receive any kind of network or information because server network is providing them the data. Yes or no? And these clients are asking them to access it, to work on it. One is providing, one is taking. So if the server network is on, then only the client, the client can access it. If the server network is off, the client cannot do anything, cannot work in it. This is client server network. Understood? You can, you will see the picture and you can understand what is client server network. Okay. See students, this is the pictorial diagram of client server network. There is a main server which is switch to which the different computing devices are connected through which the data or information are being shared or are being given to each other. Can you see? Computer A, computer B, computer C, computer D are connected along with laptop A, B, then director server, file server which are accessing, which are working on it. These servers, these client, this computer A, B, C, D, laptop A and B are the client. And director server and file server are the main server which are accessing on it, which are working on it. And later after working they are providing the information to the client, okay, to the client devices. This is server client network or you can say client server network. Understood? And the another one is peer to peer network which is also called as P2P network. Peer-to-peer -peer network is also known as P2P network. It has a net, it is a network which has no sir, no main server. There is no main server. In, in client server network, you had one main server which provided information to the clients. Yes or no? Then only the client worked, asked the main server to work to share the information. But in this peer-to-peer -peer network, there is no main server. Okay. The computer in this network shares file equally with each other, with each of the computer. The data are being shared with one another equally. That means no particular computer is asking the server to work. And after working, they are getting the information back. No. In this peer-to-peer -peer network, there is no main server. That means... The computer in this network share file equally with the other computer. P2P network are inexpensive to set up and these type of network are very cost efficient. That means it does not cost huge amount of money to set up this type of network. Each computer in this network can act as a client as well as server. They can even act as a client and they can even act as a server because they work individually. They, did, they don't depend on a particular main server. Okay, they work individually. They can share information with any of the computer and they does not act as a main server. Okay, each computer act as client also and as server also. So, this is peer-to-peer -peer network where each computer can individually act as a server also, they can serve the information also, they can work in with the information, with the data or information and they can also act as client. Okay, so the, you can see the model of peer-to-peer -peer So students, this is the model of peer-to-peer -peer network. Suppose, you can see there it is written you, yes or no, a particular computer, suppose that is you and you can share the information with each and other computer. Those are interrelated with each other. You don't have to wait for a specific server to give you command or, to, uh, or you need to ask them to access the information which you want to work in. Okay, you can act as server also and you can act as a client also. So students, what did we study in this part 1 about the networking system? Yes or no? There are the networking system where the computers are connected with each other to share information or 
connect with each other yes or no then there are advantages and disadvantages of networking system we studied then about the types of network land when and man then the different uh the different our network architecture those are the client server architecture that is client server network and peer to peer network these are the two network architecture okay so this is all for today in the next part we will continue with the further topic related with this chapter okay till then take care of yourself see you in the next